Consumer Goods Forum to meet the people working hard behind the scenes of the CGF's five sustainability coalitions to advance sustainability goals in the consumer goods industry and make a better world for everyone. My name is Louise Chester, and today I'm very happy to be joined by Alison Lynn, Global VP of Sustainable Packaging at Mars Incorporated. Hi, Alison. How are you doing? And welcome to the campaign. Hi, Louise. Glad to be here. Thank you. So I will start then, Alison, by asking you to tell us a little bit about yourself and what got you interested in working in sustainability. Sure. Um, so I'm part of the Plastics Waste Coalition of Action. Uh, and as Louise mentioned, I lead global packaging sustainability at Mars. And I've always been very passionate about the environment. Uh, my friend and I started the environmental club in high school. It's been a passion of mine. Uh, I initially went into investment banking and quickly found that wasn't the career for me. And luckily, I was presented with the option to work on recycled resins and bio-based materials at Procter & Gamble. Uh, and that's what really led me into sustainability and packaging sustainability specifically. And, and since then, I've worked on packaging sustainability at Starbucks, Coca-Cola, led sustainability for a packaging supplier, and now have the privilege of working on this factor or this issue at Mars. Wonderful. So in the context of the CGF and your, your work with us, which coalition of action are you a part of and why is this work important? I'm part of the Plastic Waste Coalition of Action, um, and the, the coalition has done a lot of very important things for the industry. We've looked, aligned on advocacy um, initiatives through the work on extended producers' responsibility. We've looked at how we, as brand owners, can improve the design of our products through the Golden Design Rules Initiative. And we've also looked at tackling necessary infrastructure needed to drive recycling rates and increase the amount of recycled content that we could use through the chemical recycling uh, work stream. So a lot of very important work streams that are driving real tangible action to improve plastic waste coalition, uh, plastic plastics waste collection and decrease the amount of plastic waste that we have. Brilliant. Thank you for sharing. Yes, and so much more to come in over this next year from the, the Plastic Waste Coalition. So my my third and final question to you is, is rather a broader one. Um, I wanted to ask you, why is inclusive leadership so crucial to tackling sustainability issues? Yeah, sure. So throughout evolution and history, the adaptability of a species is key for its survival. Uh, Darwin is often misquoted. It's not survival the fittest. It's actually survival the most adaptable. And genetic diversity is a key factor to driving diversity. Uh, the same is true for organizations. Uh, they've proven time and time again that the more diverse an organization, the more likely it is to thrive, both financially and socially from the point of its employees. So driving diversity throughout sustainability, as well as throughout industry in general, is key for company survival and, thrival and thriving. Super. Well, thank you so much, Alison, for taking the time out of, I'm sure, a very, very busy day to chat to me today. It's been a real pleasure. Thank you, Louise. Have a good one.